Hi everyone and welcome to another Stoke on Trent City Archives is moving vlog. So a couple of weeks ago now we did a store tours update video for store E which is kind of our original archive store up on the third floor of the city central library and in that video we walked around looking at all of the changes uh, in that space that had occurred since our previous store tours video about nine and a half ten months ago. Uh, also in that video we mentioned how busy the basement stores B and C were at the moment but that we hope to be able to get down and video them and see what's happened, what's different in these stores uh, at some point in the future. Uh, that is this video, uh, we've managed to just get about 15 minutes uh, before uh, the team is banging on the door there asking to come back in and uh, continue on with work but we just thought we'd do a very very quick walk around uh, show you what has changed over that last year, nine or ten months. So in the first video uh, we mentioned the uh, modern roller racking and really that's the, the key as to why we're so busy down here at the moment. Uh, if you've been reading the moving blog uh, you'll know that we are uh, relocating a, a lot of our collections to put them in sequence uh, in these uh, modern sort of shelving units. Um, these are kind of mimic, very much mimic how the shelving will be laid out in our uh, Potteries Museum and Art Gallery store. So what we wanted to do is to get everything in reference number sequence, get everything set up so that on move day it should be a very smooth process to bring everything out of the stores here, out of the building and across to the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery. What that does mean is, uh, is that things have uh, kind of changed probably quite a lot in here even though everything looks just as neat as it did in the first video. For example, um, the Twyford's collection which is here, the Twyford's collection is now in sequence all the way over here on this side of the bay here. I think last time we were also looking down here at parts of the Spode archive which were possibly on this shelf here. Actually the Spode archive now is all the way back here. So it starts on this run here and goes all the way down, feeds up there. We've kept uh, these items in place here and then Spode actually continues if I run this one back. Uh, all the way down there into those bays as well yeah so right at the moment everything in sequence is running uh, from the very very start over there all the way through here up here and we are at this moment in time up to this point just here so that's where the sequence is up to probably by the time this video goes live we will be many 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 bays along from that so right, let's head out of basement B store and into basement C store. Again, one thing that hasn't changed is the incredibly noisy air conditioning unit, so uh, apologies for the noise there. Uh, we'll talk about these pallets of boxes here in just a second. There were boxes here last time, but uh, these are very, very different. Uh, I think last time we had a look down in these bays here. I think these will be mainly similar, there might be some newly packaged material, but yeah, one of the few places that hasn't changed too much. If we go down here, last time we looked in here we had um, a lot of Minton Archive material. There is still some Minton Archive material just at the bottom here, but we're also filling this up with different archives as well, all beautifully packaged and tied, ready to go. Another little thing that hasn't changed are the beautiful Minton archive art and design boxes. They're still tucked away on this last run there. So yeah, last time round I think here um, we had uh, boxes and boxes of, well, yeah, <laughs> empty boxes that were all ready to be used for packaging. Now, as I say, in order to make space uh, in the racking in store B, for all of the sort of consolidation of the archives into reference number order. We're actually temporarily storing some of these sort of out of sequence uh, archives here and then they will, as we move through the number sequence, be put back and hopefully everything will go back in order and uh, these will be uh, yeah, clear once again. But as you can see, there is quite a lot of archive material just waiting to be placed back in sequence in the stores. So if we just very quickly swoop back into store C as you can probably see 
yeah there is material waiting to be placed on these modern racking shells in sequence absolutely everywhere hence why it is so so busy down here so i hope that uh yeah i hope that explains why things are so hectic down here now before people start banging at the door to be let in we'll sign off say thank you very much and uh we'll see you again soon <laughs>